Hello everyone, my name is Petro. Today I would like to show you how you can install an FTP server. How you can install an FTP server on Ubuntu. Uh, for this you will need to follow five essential steps. The first step will be to search for the available software located on the repository. The second step will be to install the package for the FTP server. The third step will be to verify that the FTP server is running. The fourth step will be to uh, install an FTP uh, graphical user interface client and test the connectivity to the FTP server and the last step will be the, to test the FTP server uh, from the command line. Uh, in my case I use Ubuntu 22.04. To the first step as I mentioned is to search for available software. For this uh, you need to run the apt cache search command vsftpd. As you can see, uh, we have a couple of results here and we need to install the first packet, which is a lightweight and efficient FTP server. Uh, to install the server, you need to run the command apt get install vsftpd. I received a permission denied error because I didn't run the command with sudo privileges. So you, to install any software on a Linux machine, you need sudo privileges or you need to run uh, to install the software with root uh, user account. So I will repeat the command, this time running it uh, with sudo. As you can see, VSFTPD package was installed successfully. The next step will be to test the, that the VSFTPD server is running. To uh, check if the VSFTPD service is running, you need to run the command system CTL status VSFTPD. You also can test if a service is running by using the command ss tlpn uh, grep 21. And I will run this command with sudo to see the process ID and the user that is running this command. As you can see, the FTP server is running on the local machine. It and it is listening on port 21. FTP is using port 21 and port 20. I believe uh, you may ask yourself why you need to install this uh, v, uh, an FTP server. Uh, the answer is uh, maybe uh, in your local area network, in your home, you have multiple computers and you want to uh, have a location where to store uh, some files which will be accessible from all our uh, machines or you can have a location from where you can download the, the files on your machine. This is why uh, you need and you can install an FTP server. We checked that the service is running we, with the systemctl command and with the SSS, SS command. You can also use netstat with the same parameter, with the same arguments if you want to check the, if the system is listening on port 21. Now we need to verify that uh, we are able to upload or download files uh, to the FTP server. For this, I need a client. Uh, as I mentioned, the fourth step will be to install an FTP client with the graphical user interface. Uh, I will go here and I will type Ubuntu software. As you can see, you need to open this in the left corner there is a search button you run FTP write FTP and you have a list with uh, packages that contain the FTP name in the description or in the name I'll use filezilla I will press the install button now I need to specify my password 
In order to be able to install software, you need to have uh, sudo privileges, administrative privileges, or you need to install software by using the root account. The FileZilla package was installed. I will close Ubuntu software and I will go to open the FileZilla client. I write file in the search and as you can see uh, I have the FileZilla on this machine running. I will open the FileZilla and I will try to connect to the FTP server. If you are running FileZilla on a computer which is not uh, on this, if, if the FTP client and FTP server are on different machines, here you need to specify the IP address of the FTP server and the username and the password with which you will uh, connect to the FTP server. In my case, because the client and the server are running on the same machine, as a host I will specify local host. As a username I will use my username and I will specify also my secure password. After specifying all the details, I will press the quick connect button. As you can see, I am connected to the FTP server. In order to uh, download packets from the FTP server, so on the left side here, we have the local computer and a file system and on the right side we, on the right we, uh, here in the right window we have the FTP server from here I will uh, try to download a, a packet I will remove this from here I mean and I will download it once again to download the packet you just need to select it and press the right click on your mouse and uh, press download as you can see the file transfer was successful I transferred 111 megabytes in one second to upload the file you need to do uh, the same thing but this time uh, you need to select uh, the file from the local file system and you need to uh, download it to upload it to the FTP server. I will upload the file on the desktop. Uh, to upload the file, you can press the uh, uh, you can right click on your mouse and press upload, or you can uh, select the file and drop it in the right window. As you can see all files have been successfully transferred. Now uh, the last step, as you can see the file is here, uh, the last step will be to test the connection to the FTP server uh, using the command line. For this I will use the FTP command and because the FTP server is running on the same machine I will specify local host as an IP address. In your case, if you are running the, uh, the terminal on a different Linux machine and FTP server is running on a different machine, you need to specify the IP address of your FTP server. In my case, it's local host. After I, run, I uh, after I press enter, I need to specify the details for connecting to the FTP server. I'll specify my username and I will add my password. As you can see, the login was successful. I, I am logged into the FTP server. In order to, to see what exactly I have on the server, I will use the ls command, which is uh, short for list. As you can see, I have a lot of directories. If you want to change the directory on your FTP server, you can use the cd command, which is short for change directory. I will uh, go with cd desktop. I will go to desktop. Now I am in the desktop uh, directory. I can uh, run the ls command to list the files and directories from the desktop. As you can see, I have the hello.pi and snack.pi and VMR tools. In order to upload a file, first I will create a file 
in my home directory uh, for this i will create i will run this command echo this is a test file i will redirect the output to a new file test free dot txt i will go back to the tab where i am connected to the server and i will if you want to upload the file you need to use the put command and i will run put test free dot txt as you can see the transfer was complete as you can see also on my desktop the file was uploaded to the ftp server if you want to download the file to your local machine you need to run get i will run get and specify the name of the file get hello.py and the file was transferred successfully to my machine i can list the directory here and i can see that the file is present it was downloaded successfully this is all from uh, my side for today i hope that you will find this video useful and you'll use an ftp server in your uh, local area for uh, storing and uh, downloading files uh, please be aware that uh, ftp is uh, not a secure uh, protocol and if you try to upload or uh, upload files or download files from the uh, an ftp server which is located in the internet someone may uh, steal your log someone might intercept the traffic and steal your login credentials you so it's not recommended to to use the ftp protocol if you are downloading or uploading files from the internet you need you'll need to use the sftp which is stands for secure ftp this is all from my side thank you very much for spending the time with me I hope you'll find this video useful. For future videos, please uh, check my YouTube channel. Thank you and have a nice evening. Bye.